<laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello guys. Hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Hello, we have a special guest today. What's the cat what's the cat's call? What's the cat's name? Solange. Solange. It's a girl. Oh. Solange. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute, very cute. How's everyone Hello. doing? How's everyone doing? Hope you're all having a good Wednesday. Yeah. We're gonna have some fun today. Hmm. Yeah, today we're going to be painting some hot stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I gave you a reference for, for me, Leonie. Ah. No, but uh, I don't need reference. I have your brush. Oh, it's, yeah, true, 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 true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So should uh, we start already? I show yeah. my screen. Yeah, yeah, I've got your screen on. So um, we are doing lava today. Or... Yes. Uh... As we usually do, we will paint our little rocket right here. We already did uh, two studies before. We did a metal rocket and we did a donut rocket. This was not uh, for the competition at all, right? <laughs> this is just a coincidence. <laughs> they didn't ask me to draw a donut rocket like five <laughs> minutes before stream. This is not what happened okay hey it wasn't it wasn't quite five minutes it was <laughs> maybe a <Yeah>. day <laughs> yeah yeah probably like 24 hours before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh today we're going to do lava and uh that's i i chose to do lava because i actually i'm working on a piece that are fire and lava things involved. So it's a good way to think about studying. It's like sometimes you're struggling in something in your piece. And sometimes it's good to uh, step aside a little bit and uh, do a little study of the material that you're struggling. So we're going to do that today because lava can be very complicated because it's a self illuminating Thing, right in general when we think about uh, uh light and shadow in an object we think about the light source but uh, in this case because the lava itself is a light source it can be complicated right so uh this is what we are trying to do today okay can you hear me Jaden? Yep. is everything yep. okay right. yep everything's going good um, nice guys just typing so uh... <laughs> yeah so uh we uh as always we shared this psd that we are working on on discord so if you're not on moon colonies discord go there and grab the psd uh so it would be easier you don't have to draw the rocket it is already given to you and we, what we are going to do is First, follow these steps that uh, we are always using references. We will take our time to observe our reference and understand what we are trying to do. And always try to separate what is uh, effects from the light source and what is the properties of the object itself. What is local color? What's the light? Uh, the color of the light? Things like that. And we will avoid going to details too soon. So we are trying to. A paint the bigger picture uh, before going to small detail okay so it's it's pretty straightforward you have your line layer in a base for us to start and because in this case the object itself uh have light uh we will probably do something in the background to make it feel like it's interacting with the background uh like in our previous studies, especially in the metal one, we can see this effect 
actually my reference had a little bit of this greenish hue in the background and i made this interact with the object uh so this is like one of the most important things when you're doing material studies is like consider what is surrounding your material to make the light bounce around you know makes uh, way more believable when it's like that okay so that's it this is where we are going to start mm -hmm. so first step is to observe uh, observe right the references and try to understand what's happening here well what is lava lava is melted rock right so you have something that is solid and it's heating so much that becomes liquid and when it do so it starts glowing like metal all, uh, all uh, metal uh, can behave like that uh, also you can heat metal and like will melt and uh, look a little bit like this and i think probably depending on maybe the type of rock or how hot it is can be more liquid like this uh bottom left image or maybe more grainy and like sand or something like this top one so we we have different types of references here and what we are trying to do is like the parts that are hotter like Jaden are like <laughs> <laughs> more white and yellowish and like uh, as it cools it starts shifting to orange and red and then to the the color of the rock in this case uh, it's quite dark black because uh, one thing that is also complicated in this uh, study is that because the lava is so bright it overpowers the the rest of the light sources sometimes depending on the the how you set up the camera so the rock like sometimes look pitch black but imagine if the lava is dry probably this rock is not that uh dark you know mm -hmm. it, because uh it's how camera works right you expose for uh, light and then your shadows get super dark or if you expose for shadows your lights get uh, overpowering you know one image that i think it's very interesting is this one on the bottom right because you have some kind of uh, lava uh, plume going and we have also this part which is very nice like it's a little more dry but we have these veins of lava uh, this looks super nice it's not super dark and contrasty you know i think i will use a little bit of this in the rocket uh, so we can figure out how it's going to be more uh, interesting because i can do, of course i can do something uh, uniform very liquid for example and bright but it would mean would wouldn't be so fun, fun to do i think something more in these lines like this i think it will be more fun to paint yeah, there's a lot of really cool like uh, folds and like creases. Yeah, you know. Yeah, these like cracks and folds and things like that with like fire coming from the mm. inside are super nice. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, in general, what happens here uh, because the light is coming from inside the rock, right? The parts that are thinner, maybe the light goes through more and the parts that are thicker gets darker probably mm -hmm. so we are trying to uh do that here i think for example these uh flaps uh, wings of the rocket probably will have will be lighter and more brighter than the this middle part probably maybe the tip will be brighter also mm. So we, we have to think a li little bit about that, but we can do trial and error, uh, figuring out uh, uh, as we go. Yeah, I was about to, I was actually about to mention, but um, 
Katie mentioned it in chat too, like the portions of the rocket that are further out, so like the tips of the wings and maybe the very tip of the actual rocket itself would probably be darker, right? Because it would be cooler. Like yeah, probably, yeah. The center. But... Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, because like in this case, uh, uh, of course, it's something that doesn't exist. Uh, yeah. oh, 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 look at my brush. <laughs> I have the special brush already. <laughs> You've already got the brush out, damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, there, there is different ways of us to think about that. We could think about, oh, if the like the inner core, it's hotter, mm -hmm. maybe like the the like it's this is the planet Earth, and the core is the the source of heat, and the heat irradiates like this. Makes sense, right? This mm -hmm. is the bright part, and this will be the the parts that are are darker yeah we can do like that and maybe for example uh these parts that is like the window of the rocket can uh, uh let this light go out a little bit yeah yeah i think it's a nice idea yeah be cool. okay um oh yeah and jen has asked uh will there be will there be fire too you're gonna try and put some fire in there yeah, I uh, actually in some of the references that I gathered, uh, like other references, there was some smoke uh, mm -hmm. coming out, but I didn't include this here. But uh, depending on how much time we spend on this, we can maybe do a little bit of uh, smoke coming out, fire, or maybe like melting. The, the floor a little bit we can mm. we can see <laughs> yeah we can, we can have a play yeah 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 um but yeah uh you can get the mood board on there and also the rocket photoshop file from the discord server so mm -hmm. if you haven't joined already then uh go ahead and and join we're a lovely bunch yeah and like you don't have to if you're going to do this together with me. You don't have to follow my steps like uh, precisely. Mm -hmm. You can, uh, for example, choose a different reference. You don't have to go like exactly like I do. Yeah. And like my idea in this one is to take my time. I will not rush it. Uh, we can take the time to discuss uh any topics that you guys want we can talk about stuff yeah if you have questions also ask around yeah i mean we're here for we're here for you so uh ask any questions you've got um yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh okay Katie, without looking it up, what's the difference between lava and magma? <laughs> uh, lava has four letters, magma has five. <laughs> yeah, uh, spelling is one my strong suit. One starts with L, one starts with M. I think, I think magma is when it's like underground, right? When it's not out of the volcano yet. But then, mm. uh, yeah, it can be. But then lava is when it's out and flowing. Flowing like the wind. Yes. Probably. I did not. What? I, you can't. You, I I got it right. You can't call me a cheat. I got it right. My hands are here. <laughs> how can, like? How can I look it up? You look. You look with your hands or with your eyes. Yeah, but how could I type it? <laughs> Uh, I'm sure that uh, Emra is with uh, the answer like, oh. <laughs> for you like this, you know? <laughs> yeah. I reader, yeah. Um, <laughs> a draw along. Yeah, you can, yeah. Make it a draw along. Come along, have some fun. Yeah, guys. You can't, like, 
uh, ask questions about what I'm doing, or we can ask questions on any other subject that you guys want. For example, uh, actually, I will comment. Uh, I will have this beautiful cap right here with the logo of my band. But actually, this is an advertisement spot. If you want to advertise in the, in the stream, you can advertise in my forehead. It's a pretty huge forehead, so there's plenty of space for you to put your advertisement. Yeah, just uh, send a PayPal of 400 US dollars. Yeah. And it's like for just one hour. So if you have two, I will oh, just damn, change the cap. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Leone, what's your favorite material to paint? Mm. You know what? Uh, I don't think I'm good at painting lava, but I think it's pretty fun. I, mm -hmm. I did this a couple of times in the past. And it's very fun to do because it's very bright and colorful. Uh, also, actually, I wanted to do in this stream, I, my first idea was to do a, a glass, like a, a potion bottle or something with liquid inside. This is also pretty challenging, but it's fun to do. Mm. But probably will uh, be our next topic. Yeah, that'd be fun. I think we uh, we had a few people in. We've had a few people in the server struggle with that kind of having like a potion bottle with a liquid in it. You you almost have to think of yeah, it's hard. yeah, two different materials at the same time, and it's difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing about painting materials, uh, as I said in the beginning, you have to think about the surroundings. And when you have something like glass. Glass is transparent, but also reflects the surroundings. So, yeah. and also reflects the the light. I don't know how it's the term in English, but when the light goes through the glass and gets shifted, so it warps the the background also. So it can be very challenging. I feel like if you color shifted this to blue, it would look like water with a white sea foam pattern. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we can do that at the end. Mm. Oh, actually, this will be a, a fun one to do. Maybe I'll do glass uh, next and then water ripples or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like a wavy rocket. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, have you all done a study of ice already? No, we haven't done ice. No, we have all, only did uh, metal and donut. <laughs> donut, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like the, the, the elements, right? We have fire, <laughs> water, metal, donuts, <laughs> you know? It's, those are all key things for, for life yeah, on Earth. Yeah, the basics, the basics. Yeah, the basics yeah. that you need for, li for life on a planet. True. Um, but no, we could, we could do ice. That would be fun. Nice. Yep. Yeah, we. We'll, this is too hot. We have to do ice next, right? To balance it out. I want to see an avatar. Sorry, an avatar of donut. A donut bender. Brilliant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the forgotten nation. The donut nation. <laughs> Everybody is super fat, probably. Uh, Jerry, there are recordings of the previous streams. Yeah, um, they are uploaded onto our Discord channel. Not Discord channel, sorry, YouTube channel even. Um, yeah, yes. I'll put a link you in chat for you. Previous streams. Mm. Yeah, I think... Mm. Yeah, having this bottom part a little brighter like this, mm -hmm. I like that. It's where the rocket will launch from, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But uh, one thing that I will do actually that I like a lot is uh, in this bottom left image, you have this uh, bluish hue, probably is from the, the sky, you know? Mm -hmm. And I like that. I will do that here, having some kind of ambient influencing these parts that are darker, you know? Mm -hmm. I think this gives a, a nice balance uh, to make this uh, uh, blue better with the, the background. Do you think it could be pretty easy to go over top with all the the cracks? I feel like it could be quite easy to like uh, take it a bit too far, do too many cracks and make it look a bit strange. Mm, yeah, yeah. Actually, what I uh, I didn't mention today, but I did in the last episode, is that well, while I'm doing this, I'm not trying to be realistic because I'm kind of obs uh, observing the material and doing a stylized version of this. Mm -hmm. For example, if we look at our references, there are uh, many cracks, like it's super, can be super complicated, you know, but I'm doing like big chunks. This is the way I like to do it, you know, mm -hmm. super chunky like this. Yeah. It's the, the Hearthstone way, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we should mention that like very often you're chunk, working on yeah. Hearthstone cards and stuff. So it's yes. very stylized. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, about these studies, uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, I'm doing this to help me on a piece. So uh, that's why it's good to, uh, to do it this way. Of course, if you're not aiming for a particular style, it's it's nice to like to just trust your eyes and do the best you can trying to copy the, the reality right the, of the reference but in this case i'm i'm giving myself the opportunity to draw it a little more stylized so, uh you guys can see that uh i did not change brush already i i'm i'm using just this airbrush because i'm trying to figure out how uh, the light will will go and for this material in particular, I think starting like this helped me because I can do a little bit of this uh, bloom, you know, the, of the, the light like this. Oh, actually, I, I kind of like what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> so this is good for me to start and then I will, I will have a more defined brush to start painting the rocks better you know hey kuya is in this the chat hey kuya he is, he is indeed hey kuya uh kuya. are you picking colors from the references or picking them yourself and oh, i i don't pick colors you? from the references i just pick uh i just uh use my eyes and i try to guess the color uh by Speaking like this, you know, if you, if you're struggling, sometimes you can put your color like right on the side of the reference for you to, uh, eyeball it, you know, it's, it's easy. Oh, actually I just realized that my color picker is not, <laughs> uh, being not picked up by the stream. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Because in the previous streams, I, uh, actually uh shared my whole mm -hmm. screen so it was catching everything but now my layers tab and my color tab are not appearing on stream <laughs> oh yeah but actually you can see these little squares mm -hmm. in the uh just the uh, bottom left the... corner yes this a little two squares is where I pick my colors. I don't have a color wheel or a color palette or anything. I just click this yellow square, pick the color that I want and paint with that, <laughs> you know. 
like a Neanderthal or something. <laughs> Great pointing. Yeah, I know. I'm a good. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's pointing it's, it's, fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how fast artists expect to be in commercial projects? I mean, that varies. Yeah, it yeah. depends a lot. For example, if you're working with concept art, most of the time you have to like, do a bunch of drawings. Mm -hmm. So it's good to, to be fast, you know, or come up with a lot of ideas real quick just to see the direction that you're trying to do, try to go, and then uh, when you have like your designs done and you have to do for example illustration of the character or a scene a splash art or something then you can take like sometimes weeks to do depending on the, the client depending on the project mm -hmm. it depends <laughs> <laughs> someone uh, someone said put a little silhouette of someone on the uh, on the window feeling quite hot <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my fellow Brazilians know how it's like <laughs> what to be what to be on a volcano no no not in the <laughs> volcano but being hot like you feel like you're inside the volcano uh, Sometimes. Okay. okay. Mm, wow, I like this. These parts in the bottom, you know, leading yeah. up like this. And maybe ah, one thing that is nice, uh, for example, to make this part brighter, sometimes I don't need to brighten it up like this. What I can do is actually dark the surroundings. You know, this is one trick that is good to know like if you if i dark this part darken this part like this it gives the same effect right like it's it's a, a matter of contrast you don't always need to go super bright sometimes it's just a matter of making the surrounding materials a little darker and you're go, you're set you know yeah that's that's some pretty uh that's some pretty hardcore color theory <laughs> like knowing the different color relations to each other um i think kuya was actually talking about it the other day um like you could have like a gold uh like i don't know a gold chest plate for example and if you put it under blue light it would change the color quite a lot so yeah yeah Having two yeah, colors for example, each other can change how they look quite a lot. If I see this reference, because the the lava is so bright like this, like it's full full brightness in the, the color wheel. You cannot see my color wheel, but in this uh, lava on the bottom left, the the bright parts, yellow and orange parts, are like full saturation. Mm -hmm. And these parts that are gray and look super blue, they are super desaturated uh, blues, you know? But because this feels so saturated, uh, and this is a, like the, the blue is the opposite to the orange, uh, looks like the blue is way more saturated than actually is. It's like quite gray, you know? Mm -hmm. So this is this is uh, one of the most important things that we should know is that uh, colors work in relation to one another. You know, oh, actually, because oh, it looks this so is super hot. <laughs> I would I would use my dead and brush. Fire. It looks so scary in like in white. <laughs> my yeah, yeah, teeth in... are all black, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's the man of your dreams, right here. Yeah, man, <laughs> that's so cursed. <laughs> yes, you're going to become a rock. 
Ah, oh, man. Just what I've always wanted. You are the rock now. <laughs> mm, one thing that is nice to have these effects, like rock effects, is you can, for example, do some selections, like quite random, like this. I will like just select uh, some parts. And if I paint inside this, it gives some kind of uh, texture, you know? This is uh, one of the ways that I do texture in my work, uh, using a brush that is not textured. It's just doing a random selection and then painting a little bit on top. Yeah, and then you just go in and, and fix it up a little bit later. Or... Yeah. And we can it's it's <laughs> John said uh Rio de Janeiro be like <laughs> obviously it's hot as lava. Sometimes, yes. <laughs> uh, in the in my state, there's a city called Cochin, which is super unbearable. <laughs> oh, up north there is Cuiabá also. I don't know if you had someone from Cuiabá, but I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Cool, yeah, just put in chat like uh, a thinking face. Kuyaba. Yes! <laughs> Maybe it's where he lives. You don't know. Right? We, finally, we finally found out where Peachland is. It's in Kuyaba. True, yes. Finally, we discovered the truth. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have the same uh, feeling, but I, when I see lava flowing like this, I want to eat this. That is exactly what Katie said in the chat uh, like earlier today. Um, Looks tasty. Yeah. I don't know why. What is it? What is it? She said. She said that it. She felt like it would taste like marshmallows before it burnt her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably you would you wouldn't taste anything because it will burn your tongue instantly. <laughs> so you would, you would not taste. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but if you could. Yeah. Someone else wants. Or to maybe dip, you can lick a rock. Lava. Maybe if you can lick a rock, you will see that you know the taste because yeah, just yeah. melted rock, right? <laughs> There you go, Katie. If you want to try, if you want to see what lava tastes like, go and lick a rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pick a rock in the yeah. the garden and lick it. Probably mm. it's the same taste. Yeah, tell us how it tell us how it tastes. <laughs> Maybe you can heat it up a little bit. You know, just yeah, to put it in get the a little bit of the sense. Yes. Yeah. Nice. We're not paying for any medical bills that may come after you do that, though. Yeah, it's your own idea. Yeah. You didn't say anything. <laughs> I think my parents used to think there was something wrong with me as a kid because I talked about wanting to eat the lava in my lava lamp an unsettling amount. <laughs> well, you're friends with Jaden, so you're not the normal person. It's true. It's not. There's not many people that. <laughs> there's, not, there's not many normal people I'm friends with. Don't try this at home, kids. True. No way. 
Apparently there's a YouTube video of a guy that just drank the contents of a lava lamp. What? What? No way. Surely Is that's he alive? like... Yeah, I was going to say, surely he's dead. What's in a lava lamp? Does anyone know what's in a lava lamp? Lava, of course. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, I forget. They just farm lava for lava lamps. Yeah, it's in the name. What else could it be? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Google it. If no one in chat gives me an answer, I'm going to have to Google it. You chat knows nothing. There is cotton candy in the walls with a silly name like insulation. Mmm, true. True, true, true. My parents told me not to eat the insulation, but I can't help it. It tasted good. Goody goods. Oh, it's just wax. Foo. Boring. I prefer my theory. That is actually wow. Uh... Yeah, me too. And we live in a world today that there is no facts, just opinions. So I can <laughs> have my my own facts. <laughs> my, my facts. Lava lamps are made of lava. <laughs> I'm sad, Jaden. You're sad? Why? Yeah, no one asked what we think about the new Legend of Zelda trailer. That's true. Guys, can someone ask what we think about the new Legend of Zelda trailer, please? <laughs> <laughs> I will say what I think. I think, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. If you're not on Discord, you don't know what I mean. So, uh, uh, Goat Babe said, what do you think of the new what you said? Yeah, we think that the new Legend of Zelda trailer looks really cool. Um, and I booked my vacations to play. Did you actually? This is, yes. <laughs> Man. I will I... be incapacitated for work. I would not be able to work in May, you know? I, yeah, it'll be interesting. of May forward. It'll be interesting to see how many people. Is. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how many people have got that day off work. <laughs> half, half of the half of the studio is on holiday playing Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Come on. I, I I actually am never so hyped about a video game as I am with Zelda, so it's fair. Like. It's the only game that makes me feel like this. Yeah. I want to uh, play right now. Right now. I'm like super excited for the new Final Fantasy though. Mm. That's looking yeah. awesome. <laughs> I bought a capture card for seven euros. I can stream Zelda in the Discord. Yeah. I might try to stream my gameplay release today sometime. Yeah, let's do it. We have like six people in the Discord all streaming their gameplay of Zelda. <laughs> I want to see it. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, when you're painting a character, do you usually use an airbrush in the beginning, like in this study, or, or not? Mm. Actually, it depends uh, on the light situation. Uh, but in general, I would say that I do do I, I do a little bit airbrush in the beginning because uh, the way I, I working today uh, it benefits my process. But before I I did uh, before I actually did everything super sharp like light and shadow with a sharp line uh, both ways uh, can work depending on what you're trying to achieve uh, 
Yeah, um, actually, I, I use a combination of both because even if I'm using an airbrush, I'm also using lasso, you know, so you can airbrush like this. And then you have a, a sharp edge and a soft edge at the same time. You know? uh, yeah, so I, I use airbrush a lot in the beginning, but I also use lasso to counterbalance and not having everything soft because it's everything too soft. Uh, the, the form doesn't hold up, right? You have to have some kind of uh, edges. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you guys think so far? Do you think we are in a good place? It is. Uh, Theracene says that the highlights look so nice. So I think that's some good compliments. Uh, thank you. Uh, one thing that is nice, uh, for example, uh, in this part is actually super loose, right? Uh, I, I did, just did a brush stroke here, but it's actually super loose. It's not defined. And this can be a good thing. For example, I can define this uh, part that is the focal point and then get looser and looser to uh, close to the edges. You know, you don't have to make everything super sharp or defined. Ah, and one thing that worth, it's worth mentioning is that I only used one layer since the beginning. I, I didn't do anything. Probably I will create a new layer now. You can't see my layer tab, but I created a new layer just to save the, the process. Uh, in general, when I'm doing studies, I try not to like go crazy with layers. I try to paint like I was painting on a, a traditional media, you know? But for work, I use a lot of layers because sometimes I have to have things separated to prepare the PSD for delivery. And sometimes I'm not sure if I'm going the right decision and the right uh, doing the right decision. So I do more layers to if I screw up, I can just turn off the layer and uh, saving the process, you know. <laughs> I think out of everyone that I've seen working like uh, in the discord and stuff, I think you use like the least amount of layers. I've seen you mm. use like three <laughs> or four in a whole piece before. Yeah, I think it de it, yeah, it's like I said, it depends. Yeah. If I'm confident, I use uh, less layers. If I, mm. I'm not sure what I'm doing and I have to test uh, something, and I use, then I use more, you know. Mm, I actually struggling a little bit with this texture. I'm trying to figure out what is the direction of the, like the rock. I'm doing a little bit like this, but I don't know. Maybe I will try to make it more. Uh, Mm, let me see, because like looking at the, the references here, we have some that are more grainy like this. It looks almost and like some that trailer. are more flowy like yeah. this, right? Mm, this looks like normal rock to me, this also. I don't know. Yeah, some of it just like, uh, I think it's the top middle one, just looks more like tree bark than it does the actual like rocks. Maybe it's tree bark. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably that's, not because it's a pretty it was, strong tree bark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know that what? Uh, in the region where I, I live, the, the trees 
are prepared to be burned. Like uh, it's pretty common to have fire during a, a season in the year. So the 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 tree barks are like they have a bunch of uh, pointy parts that burn and fall, and the like the the main trunk of the the tree that uh, don't burn. You know, something oh, that's like that. Cool. That's yeah. Cool. So you can go in the tree and pick up some square tree barks. It's super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the stream of unusually sensual music while practicing textures. Is it? I, it's quite quiet, so I didn't know. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm not listening to the music because it's just for the stream, so I have <laughs> yeah. no idea. I can hear it, but just quietly in the background. It's okay. What? It's, a, it's, a, it's a mood. Oh, I see what you mean. It does kind of sound... <laughs> it does kind of sound like that. Let's, let's put a different one on. This one sounds pretty good, right? Uh, when you have references with the same object that has a different color, like the rock appearing blue and black in different pictures, um, what did you, what did you pick? Like, what do you pick? Mm. The thing is, uh, I have to guess what I'm, I'm trying to do with this. What is my goal? Mm -hmm. Uh, I can just pick whatever I think looks cooler. But I like this contrast, uh, having more colors uh, on it, but maybe you gravitate towards something that is more contrasty like this, you know? So this is one of the ways that our work can uh, be different, you know, and if you have your own personality on it. If you look at my artwork in general, it's super bright and colorful. But there are other artists in the studio, for example, that like doing things way more gray and dull in terms of saturation. So you can pick whatever looks better to you. But at the same time, it's important to understand uh, why this is more blue than this. Uh, as I said, this blue hue probably is from the sky that is bouncing on the rock. And like, uh, you can see a little bit of this sky color in this. Uh, but also can be differences in camera setups and things like that, you know? So you don't have to copy the reference completely. Sometimes it's nice for you to be a, a little creative on top. Make it the way it looks better to you. I think actually that I have to make this a little more contrasty, some parts. What's that? Um, what's the the Pokemon that's like, basically got like two volcanoes on its back? Camerot. Yeah. That, that but I, I'm not a Pokemon fan. I'm not a nerd or otaku. Okay, <laughs> I don't like anime. <laughs> My nephew told me, so that's why I. I know. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Sure thing. You can just drink up that drink up that copium. It's okay. I'm not a fan. I just know all the names. Yeah. Ah, uh, you know what you you know what you could have had as a reference. There's uh, there's that Pokemon that is literally just lava. Or, uh... Slugma. Yeah, Slugma, yeah. I don't like Pokemon. Okay. 
<laughs> don't quote me on that. Actually, it's Lugma is the first po shiny Pokemon that I had. And I was disappointed because I don't like this Pokemon. It took me 20 years probably to catch my first shiny and it, it was a slug. <laughs> what? That's, I don't think I ever, I don't think I ever got a, a shiny Pokemon. I didn't have the, uh, I didn't have the patience. Yeah, of course not. You're not a nerd, a, a weirdo gamer. <laughs> I'm a gamer, right. just not a Pokemon gamer. <laughs> I never had the patience. Like, I, like, uh, I had friends who would uh, who would start the game, play like two seconds and be like, nah, it's not a shiny, and then reset. It's like, what? what? And they'll do that for hours and hours and hours. Yeah, I, I like to watch... Uh... Uh, Pokemon streamers sometimes doing like stupid rules for themselves. For example, I can only uh, have shinies, for example. So <laughs> they uh, can reset the game a thousand times just to the starter to be shiny or, or Wait, something you, like that. Your starter can be shiny? I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah you can. You can yeah. like just choose Pick the, the first Pokemon and it's shiny. Okay. It can happen. <laughs> what? I, I like stupid rules. For example, I saw a guy uh, beat Pokemon X and Y with all uh, enemies being level 100 since the beginning. Like your first Pokemon, you're level what? 5. Your first opponent, level 100. You know, say, oh, this, <laughs> this is. This is impossible. How can you beat this? And somehow he can. He, he beat. Like, and of course, the, the first fight is the toughest. Yeah. You have to train your Pokemon a lot just to beat the first guy. But what? What? I need to see that. That's crazy. Because how would you even fight the first, like, uh... there's the fight yeah. directly after you get your Pokemon, right? No, this, uh, you can lose the first fight, oh, it, oh, okay. it's not game over. So this is the only fight that you can lose and okay, uh, not a problem. So this fight, the person loses, of course, yeah. but the first trainer that you uh, have to fight is a youngster with a zigzagoon or something. And this first zigzagoon was the difficult, uh, the most difficult <laughs> fight of the game, you know? Jeez. And then basically the idea is to make the zigzagoon uh, uh, use all his moves until he have only struggle like if you don't have any pp left for, uh, for your moves you use a move that is called struggle mm -hmm. and this move damages yourself you know you do the move yeah. and you damage yourself and like the zigzagoon takes out himself <laughs> <laughs> But I don't remember how he can survive until he gets into struggle, you know? I yeah, don't remember. Uh, nah, that's that's crazy. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree with Indamely in the chat. People people just like to suffer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's a bunch of people watching the stream to see how the hell the guy is going to 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 accomplish that, you know? Yeah, yeah. I've seen this guy, for example, beat Super Mario Odyssey blindfolded. Like, he cannot see the screen. Oh, what? I've, I've seen a video of a guy playing Super Mario Odyssey. He's blindfolded, but he has, like, guests come in and, um, like, he has guests come in and, like, tell him where he is and, and like, where to go. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, but like he still knows an incredible amount about the game, so you can just give him a, a rough description of where he is, and he'll be able to just, you know. Yeah, yeah. It. He will say uh, some guests can say, "Oh, you're up, up the hill facing north, for example." And, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I know where I am. And then 
Yeah. Oh, I have. To, I, I know that I I can do three jumps and then a backflip and I will be on the yeah exactly right position. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. The level that some people go to is is crazy. Yeah, there's a guy who spent eight years to be Ocarina of Time blindfolded. What? <laughs> Where do these people find the time? Yeah, they stream and earn money doing that. Right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. It's like speedrunners. A lot of speedrunners just. Yeah, the thing for me is like, how do you start doing that, right? Because mm -hmm. when you already have a audience and you can do this for a living, okay, yeah, people will watch you and 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 pay you to do it. But when you're starting, how do you do it? You know. How do you find the time to, to do this? Mm. Okay, I just created a new layer and I'm doing multiply because I want to give the the rocket a little more form, like a, a roundish form, you know, like having the, the inner parts uh, brighter than the, the outer edge. Uh, actually, I usually do this like I'm, I'm doing now. I just selected black and I did like this, but I will like make this uh, lighter. I will not have it pure black. It's just to give the effect that I want without overpowering the... It makes such a machine. massive difference though. I'm always surprised by like how the some of the some of the smallest changes can make the biggest difference yeah and for example i painted all these highlights in a normal layer and it already looks like i have uh, yeah light coming from inside but i can do a color dodge layer or hard light layer or something like that and make this pop even more like mm -hmm. this you know look at this Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I do like touch ups like this only in the end. Mm -hmm. But if I feel that I need a little bit of this during the process, I can do it. For example, look at the difference now. It has way, way more uh, impact, right? Yeah. And it's super simple in terms of what I actually did. I just did uh, with the airbrush, I darkened the edges. And with the uh, airbrush, uh, with color dodge, I picked uh, this uh orange color and just spread a little bit of this color in the uh in the brighter parts of the the rocket no mm -hmm. just that and it already looks way cooler or hotter may i see <laughs> <laughs> wow you're so funny <laughs> your language is funny <laughs> If, uh, if anyone is doing like a, a paint along or is, is trying this themselves, then I'd love to know how you're getting on. Yeah, I think I will start doing a little bit of the background, as I said, mm -hmm. like having, let's see what I can do. I will pick a very bright color and put this on overlay. Let's see what happens if I... Just do this first. Mm. Actually, I think I will color more of the floor than the, the wall. So it will be more like this. Mm. There's a bunch of 
trial and error in this process, you know, mm -hmm. you, uh, the thing is you don't have to like get right, uh, in the beginning, I changed, the, uh, from overlay to hard light here, just to see if it gives the effect that I want. Maybe I will remove this shadow. Remove the shadows first. But I will have to make the, uh, the contact again. Probably this will have a little bit of ambient occlusion in the where it touches. I don't know. But this can be brighter than this. Yeah, in this case, I'm just guessing, you know, because this is not in my reference board. So I'm just using my experience to guess what would happen in this case. But yeah, you, you don't you said, need like, to. Mm. I was going to say, as you said, no one, no one expects you to to get it right first time. You know, it's a study for a reason because you want to. Yeah, be, you're exactly. Learning. Um, Actually, I one of the the things that I most like to draw is studies like this because I don't feel pressure mm -hmm. of, of uh, getting it right, you know. And this is something that happened to me. Uh, as the past, uh, the the time goes by, like uh, because I have so many, uh, so much pressure in my back that I I I put myself right. I, I put pressure on my own back. <laughs> I I want to do things that I think look cool, and when I can't do it for some reason, it can be. Uh, uh, stressful, you know. Mm -hmm. So when I'm doing studies like this, because I have reference to help me, and I'm not so worried about being perfect, I can have way more fun, like I used to do when I was uh, a teenager or something, you know. So it's nice to do studies without putting too much pressure on you. Just paint. Try to have fun and learn something along the way. Yeah, I think this is good for now. Let's continue with a rocket. Have you decided on what kind of rock you're going to go for? Hmm. I think I will go for something more like this. Mm-hmm. Rocks that look like rocks, yeah. not, uh, I don't know, I think it makes more sense for me. Okay, now it's time to create a new layer and start uh, having some harder edges in some places. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, if you have any questions, just ask away. Yeah. It can be about anything. Anything. Jaden will be here to answer all of your questions. <laughs> ask me anything to do with art and I will answer it. Uh, Leone, do you know what the largest active volcano in the world is? No, I don't know. It, it's called uh, Mauna Loa, and it's uh, just off the coast of Japan. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some islands that are growing because of volcanoes, right? The volcano. Yeah volcanic activity is making the island grow like uh i don't know a meter per week or something jeez i don't know how much 
it's yeah. it's nice when you have lava underwater also i don't know if you saw that before but no, i don't think it's I have. pretty pretty intense to yeah. see because the water is trying to cool it down and the lava is trying to yeah, expand it's, it's yeah crazy. it's like instantly uh it's instantly like evaporating the water right yeah mm. it's crazy the battle of giants the titans when i was when i was in high school we learned about this thing uh this thing called like the ring of fire and it's i think it's just like a a whole line of underwater volcanoes that essentially goes around the whole planet mm -hmm. it's crazy ring of fire <laughs> lava plus water equals cobblestone good job some good minecraft law you got going there but Oblastone. lava plus water equals what class mm. what i'm doing here is like giving the rock a little thickness like if you think about it have a top layer like this and maybe a side there like this you know and you can have this side being hit by lights you know and this top uh is not hit by this warm light something like this it's fire girl and water boy wow <laughs> i haven't heard that in i haven't heard that name in years Water boy. They're making a movie? What? They're making a what a movie of like the the flash game. What? What flash game? Fire girl and Fire Girl and Water Boy. Oh no, I think yeah. Oh yeah. It's uh the new Disney Pixar movie, right? Oh yeah, El elementals. So crap. <laughs> <laughs> Elemental. Man, this is one of the ugliest 3D movies that I ever seen. <laughs> and considering the budget, it's amazing. <laughs> I see. Oh damn. I think the original two grew up and have kids or something. What? How? <laughs> don't ask too many questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I take it back. I don't want to know. You don't know, don't yeah, want I don't to know the answer. Yeah, I take it back. <laughs> if you go on the internet, you people will give you the answer, but you don't actually want to see it. Yeah, no. Right? I definitely don't. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think about I having a a Jaden inside the, the Yeah, some who someone mentioned earlier that they wanted to see a they wanted to see a Jaden face in the window. Okay. I I am painting with the Jaden brush now, but uh like in the end I will I will make it more obvious. My face just makes such a good brush. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, how about that? I will paint lava with her face and water with Christina's face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she'll <laughs> love that. You're the opposite, right? Mm, it's true. <laughs> I'm the... Yeah, I'm the passionate heat that that keeps Moon Colony burning. Uh, 
and Christina is the mm. water that uh, hydrates uh, hydrates <laughs> our creativity. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Moon Colony is not about the artwork or anything. It's just about social media and Discord. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. What can I say? True. True that. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't even be here. Yeah, what you guys are thinking about these streams? Are you having fun with this? Mm -hmm. How many people are drawing along? Talk with us. Yeah. Do you think this is useful? Do you have any ideas for future streams? I... Yeah, we've got we've got some people earlier mm -hmm. saying they wanted like a an ice thing, um, like an ice stream. So we can look at doing that. Mm hmm. Having fun watching and painting along, having fun painting along. These are great. This is the first try I'm drawing together with the stream. Oh, I, I hope you're enjoying it. Yeah. You guys are having fun and it's going, it's like being useful for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Nice. <clears throat> I think wood bark, wood bark and mm, moss yeah. would be fun. Yeah, that would be a cool one actually. I'd mm, love to see yeah, that. with moss. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't always. I, I use it's very useful. Oh, cool. I use my uh, cell phone, my smartphone as a webcam, <laughs> and someone is texting me. And it's vibrating my desk. I don't like. This. I always forget <laughs> to turn off the internet. <laughs> Come on, guys. Katie said, I'm having fun painting along in my head. My version is looking great, you guys. Yeah, true. Mm. The drawing yeah, that you have in your head is always better than the one that you can do. <laughs> That's why I keep mine up here. True. Mm. A slime one would be neat. That would be pretty neat. Mm hmm Yeah. Slime, like a, a green slime or something. Yeah. Very should, I write, gooey. Should, I, should I write these down? And get them in, yeah, get them in my notebook. Write it down. Uh, we can do these for, like, uh, we, we are doing every, like, two weeks or something. We yeah. have ideas for doing this for two years, probably. <laughs> hey, that'd be fun. Flesh would be interesting. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, we have that for uh, for Halloween. Halloween for sure. Yeah, yeah, Halloween, and this will be an eyeball. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I already pictured in my mind. Looks gross. <laughs> Yeah, and I can do like the skin with stitches, you know, like yeah, something yeah. that is like you <laughs> you wrap uh, the rocket with skin and stitch it out. Wow. Yeah, that would be awesome. Um, uh, someone else said, uh, wait, where was it? Fuzzy stuff, maybe like a fleece or fur. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Fur, I think it's interesting because it's hard to do. Mm. Uh, but I have my tricks to make it easier. Like, you don't overwhelm yourself. Yeah. You come out of particles. Mm -hmm. You're excited for the Halloween stream. Me too, honestly. Yeah, and we have to have costumes for that. Oh, for sure. I'm down. Come on. I'll be an actual astronaut for Halloween. Mmm, nice. 
I will probably buy one of those knives for one dollar that you put in your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my cost. <laughs> A flesh burrito. <laughs> burrito. But yeah, any ideas you guys have, let us know. Either in the streams or or uh, hit hit me up on Discord. I'm always there. Jaden is the Discord guy. Just vibing. Funny thing, Discord in Portuguese means disagree. Yeah, I mean, in, oh, uh, I think I think it means a similar thing in uh, in English too. Actually, it, I might be thinking of discourse. Though. I don't know. No, discord isn't it? Is a disagreement between people. Yeah. So. Yeah. I have no idea why they decided <laughs> to call the program that. <laughs> Maybe because they thought about the different bunch of different names, and they cannot uh, come to just one name, and they disagreed with the name and say, "Oh, this is the name." Yeah. Disagree. Mm. Gems. That's a cool. That'd be a cool one. Yeah, yeah. Gems like crystals, mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah, for sure. What do we do? We have so far the flashy one, gems, uh, water. We have bark. We have a uh, glass with potion or something. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I forgot to write down water. Uh, we've got what? slime, flesh, wood, slash, like, wood with moss, fur, um, yes, ice, fur. gems, yes. glass, and, yeah, water. Do I don't know. Of a pizza. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just a pizza. Uh, I don't know if I want to do the fur one, because I will be helping the furry community, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Lasagna one. Lasagna. Yes, just tasty stuff like just, lasagna, yeah, we'll just lava, you know? <laughs> Maybe, yeah, we'll just do a, a separate series all on food. True. And we can mix it in with Christina's cooking show. She'll cook the food while you uh, while you paint it. Yes. Yes. Yeah, this, this is a good way for mm -hmm. us to introduce the Christina cooking show. Yeah. With the context of drawing, yeah, 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 yeah. We have to convince Amra of the cooking show. It's a nice idea. Yeah, me too. I think I think we should. Um, I think in general, I I would argue that in chat most people don't know how to cook. They can paint better than they can <laughs> cook. So it will be more helpful for them to watch a cooking show than to watch this stream. It's true. You know, if, if I think I can paint better than I can cook, and you've seen my painting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely can paint better than I can cook because I cannot cook anything. Mm. Uh, is painting lava similar to painting hot metal? Yeah, I, I would argue it's mm. probably most the same. The only part that you would do different is like the the rock part, but the, the melted rock and melted metal, mm -hmm. probably it's the same thing. It's just very bright, yellow and red. <laughs> I cook better than I paint and that's why I'm here. You came to the right place. Yes. We can, we can teach you how to do both at the same time. It will be incredible. Wow. 
what's your what's your favorite meal leone what's your favorite food my favorite food mm -hmm. is uh, a dish from okinawa that is called soba oh yeah uh, is that like um is that like yakisoba or yeah more or less yeah uh because like in the region where i live in the city where i live is the place where you have the most japanese people outside japan like actually in sao paulo we have more but excluding sao paulo that have 20 million people <laughs> here is the place you know wow. and we have a big community that came from okinawa mm -hmm. and uh they introduced this dish to our local cuisine you know? and this is the it's my favorite since i was a kid you know? mm, nice is it i actually showed you guys the monuments we have here in the city have a big soba monument. oh yeah i do remember that yeah 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 i totally forgot about that <laughs> although you guys have loads of strange statues and stuff <laughs> like your phone booths are all like like animals and stuff like that right yeah it's said that most of the phone booths are gone like people don't use mm. funny boot, phone boots anymore but the animal ones were nice <laughs> there's probably just one or two of them still mm. on the streets i think because it's the same thing in the uk that most we don't really use phone booths anymore obviously um so i think what they've been doing is they've been turning a lot of them into like defibrillator stations because huh. the power that the power lines that go into the phone booths were enough to power defibrillators so that when people have like heart attacks and stuff you can just what yeah crazy yeah so yeah they've just been turning them all into those kind of those what? kind of things yeah it's crazy 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 <laughs> Yeah, I think it's nice because what I think quite a when when one of the things you think of when you think of the UK is like the red like the red telephone boxes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, so it's nice that instead of just getting rid of all of them, they're they're giving them a practical use, even though the original use isn't isn't really there anymore. I see. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in a shopping mall last week, and they have. For some reason, one of these red telephone booths with a London uh, <laughs> wall, and I I was going there to take a picture and say, "Hey guys, I'm I'm coming." Oh, and you totally should have done it. Yeah, maybe I I will. But my wife was looking at me like, "What are you doing?" It's not okay. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> I would it's say, judge, hey, the judgmental look me. from the wife says everything. Yeah, yes, she didn't need to say anything. It's just a look and say, okay, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> but I didn't understand why they did like a, a wall themed after yeah. London with the phone booth. Why? <laughs> Probably it's like an empty spot. They don't want to be empty. Yeah. So let's do something. Hey, everyone loves London, right? London's great. Yeah, especially the British people, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. You guys yeah. love London. Yeah, for sure. So are you just doing some like edge heights and stuff now? Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is what I, uh, this is the new layer that I created. I'm mm. just adding more information, details, uh, sharpening some edges, right? And defining some stuff, for example, maybe having this, this part flowing like this. I think this is the part that I would consider the proper rendering yeah. because 
already have the like the base going. Like this is my base, right? And then I I did these layers to fix the light source. And then this is the render itself. It's just picking colors here and blending, you know, creating uh, texture and details. So this is the part that is easier for me to just talk about random stuff while I'm doing it because I don't have to think that much. Yeah. The thinking part was already done. <laughs> <laughs> So we can we can talk more about noodles. Yeah. Nice. What's your favorite kind of noodle? Because you, you have different mm. <laughs> textures mm. and shapes. Yeah. I I remember when I was at university, me and one of my friends tried to make our own uh ramen. Um yeah. but we couldn't find the right we couldn't find the right noodles, so we we <laughs> accidentally bought uh what is it udon noodles like the really thick yeah, yeah. like the really thick noodles um and it it did not go it did not go very well <laughs> it tasted <laughs> it tasted okay but the noodles were just like way too thick um mm, yeah uh what what is the name of the other noodle oh you see the... I will try to remember uh, because my my wife is Japanese we we usually eat a bunch of things that are Japanese there's a noodle that's very very thin mm -hmm. super super thin and then uh, she prepares like boiling the water and puts the, the noodle inside just to make it soft and then immediately put ice on it to cool it down wow. so it's it's a cool noodle and then you do the a soup mm -hmm. and then you uh, grab the noodle that is cool inside the ice and you put inside the, the soup real quick and eat it's super nice this wow. is i don't remember uh, is it you said you said udon and now i yeah, I can't I'm, think of anything we do else. Don't yeah. Uh, someone in chat uh, asked if it's like bif bifun, bifun, bifun. Mm, no, I think this is not the the, the word. Is probably is this? butchering that. I don't remember. Mm. Somen. Yes. Somen. Yes. Somen. Somen. Yeah. Oh, cool. I, I don't think I've ever had, like, a cold noodle dish. Yeah, it's... You, you don't eat cold because you put in the... the oh, you put it hot, in like a hot... Stuff. Yeah, in a hot so, soup or something, yeah. and then it's it's uh, warm again, you know? Mm. I think the ice is just to make the, the noodles maintain shape because mm. if the water is too hot it will melt because it's super thin oh you know? cool uh there are some korean cold noodle dishes yeah there are apparent yeah there are i haven't had any of them though one dish mm. has ice in the broth yeah oh, i can't remember what's that what that's called now um but it always looks really good i've just never had it um yeah, when we don't have anything to talk about we default to food <laughs> i mean you can you can spend forever talking about food that's the beauty of it true sure. Leone and Jaden, think of your favorite dish. Oh man. Mm. I'm not even sure what my favorite dish would be though. My favorite dish is yes, please. I want food. Yes, please. 
Oh, okay, and then would you rather... Eat that dish for the rest of your life. And only that dish for the rest of your life, okay. Or... Never eat it again. Okay. Mm, I see. Mm. Pick your favorites and then uh, never eat again or... Oh, I see. Yeah, either eat it <clears throat> forever or never eat I it again. I will probably like bypass this rule by, for example, uh, I like this recipe for soba, but I can still eat uh, ramen or uh, udon <laughs> or you know so many just like swap the noodles change the <laughs> recipe a little bit <laughs> yeah yeah i think i'll leave it's out not the, the same i think i'll leave out the water chestnuts just you know <laughs> to really spice up <laughs> but i'm the type of person that don't mind eating the same thing mm. uh, actually I, I i said this said this before in this card that i'm not a very food person in mm. terms of I don't care that much about food as a normal person would. Yeah. If I could have like infinite energy and I didn't need to eat, I think I would prefer that, you know? Yeah, I've said that before too. I I'm I'm exactly the same. But like ah sometimes if you want to eat you can but you don't need it, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. oh, I think I found, I think I found the, the ice, the, the recipe that has ice in the, in the broth. Mm -hmm. I'm going to butcher it, but I think it's called Mul, Mul Neng Myong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly like this. Yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. like that. Mulnemyong, something like that. I don't know. I can't read. I have to ask Emily. She uh, used yeah. to live in Korea. She will. Yeah. Someone who can speak Korean, tell me. Um, but yeah, it's like noodles in a broth that has all ice in it. It looks pretty good, actually. But there's just something strange to me about the idea of cold noodles. Have you ever eaten uh, sweet uh, beans like the? Oh, like red, uh, like red mochi. Bean? No, like the. In Japan, they eat uh, sweet beans, right? As a for example, on, on mochi or on what? Ah, the problem for me is that my mind is in English mode. Yeah, so I, I cannot. I can <laughs> be skipping around with too much for me. <laughs> manju, manju, yes. Thank you, chat. Yeah, manju. Uh, actually, the the sweets. Uh, Bean is like Anko, the, the the name that they use. Mm. No, I haven't had that. I've only ever had uh, like red bean, and red bean is good. I've had that in like bubble tea before, and man. I'd, I'd have that like every day. Every day. Every day. Mm. I'm. Actually, one thing that I have to figure out here is what to do with this ring part mm -hmm. uh, to make it look like rock. Probably I will do like a front plane like this that is facing away from the lights. Maybe this is what I need, you know, something like that. And maybe the side plane having more of this. Uh, this orange 
yeah, probably something like this would make sense. It could be spilling lava like a big teardrop. <laughs> yeah, like this, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> gooey. Blech. I think we can use our last 20 minutes or so to make it like it's catching fire or something so mm -hmm. we have some smoke coming out of it yeah or maybe some sparks mm -hmm. uh, bruno said accentuate the bevel on the central ring with a bright red from the lava accentuate the bevel on what accentuate the bevel on like the outside of the ring oh the way yes like okay. a bright red yeah, I'm, I'm actually doing the opposite right now, mm. like having a little bit more of the uh, environment hitting this part, but maybe. The thing is, uh, because we have like the, the bright lava here and outside, and this part is being lit by this side, probably, I have to have some kind of contrast for this ring. Mm -hmm. That's why what I'm trying to figure out, you know. <laughs> One thing about doing a material like this, especially when we are doing it uh, stylized, is that no one can uh, tell you that, oh, this is not real lava. Lava is not like this, you know. You don't see lava often enough you know, yeah, to know yeah. how the lava behaves in real life. <laughs> so yeah, oh, it's good enough. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I think I add a little bit of mm. this. Mm. Katie said the window could be cracking in the heat, which I guess is kind of like what you've done. Yeah, I, I don't think there is heat. Like, no, oh, there is heat, yes, but no, there is not glass here. Yeah. Okay. It's like open, closing the core. The core. Inside. For, for Brazilian people, mochi is really strange because it's rice and beans, but it's sweet. It's true. Yes, true. It's, yeah, it's Leonie's favorite meal is rice and beans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it took me a while to get used to eat mochi because of that it's rice and beans you know but it's sweet what the <laughs> hell it's fake rice and beans Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Is what are you thinking? I'm thinking about having these cracks or not like this. I just the thing about that is trying not to be super like uh, if I do like this, for example, mm -hmm. it's too uniform. You know, it yeah. doesn't look like lava. What looks like you... a man-made thing, you know? Yeah. Maybe I just want one of these mm. a little bit. What if you did and three? So there was the one, there was the one there, the one on like the like left side almost. And then... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I think... Going like this could be nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something around these lines, I think it's okay. We are talking about food and my lunch break is 20 minutes and I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go out and get some uh, soba. No, this actually soba is something that we eat in, in the night. In general, mm, you know? Okay. Okay. It's not something that we eat for lunch. I'll eat anything for lunch as long as it's good. Yeah, true. I will <laughs> eat soba in the breakfast if I have the opportunity, but. In general, people go out in the night because it's a warm dish. Yeah. Uh, and most of the times it's pretty hot. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. The lunch breaks. It's not a very good uh, mm -hmm. deal, you know. I forget that not everywhere is cold and rainy. It's sad. And sad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, today is a little cold, so I would eat soba for lunch, for <laughs> sure. Look at that, I'm, I'm using the hoodie, and the air conditioner is not on. Damn. So it's cold. Damn. Man, I'd love to get an air conditioner for when it gets hot over here. I'm so jealous oh. every time. Let's do it. Do it. Just do it. What temperature okay. is cold for you? Let's see how how cold is now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's like forty degrees Celsius. <laughs> uh it's actually twenty four degrees Celsius 24, right now. So it's damn. So it's pretty nice, but because it was uh, cold during the night, mm. and my office space use it's actually colder than outside. Inside of here must be around nineteen degrees or twenty. Uh, that's pretty toasty. That's that's like a that's pretty warm <laughs> for us. <laughs> No, no. For us, cold is like 15 degrees. Wow, super cold. Damn. <laughs> it keeps snowing here in Canada and I hate it. Damn. Yeah, maybe sometime in my life I will see snow. Never saw it. One day. One day. You need to go on holiday. Hmm. I will see if I put some smoky beats. Let's see. It looks nice if it's like. Twenty-four degrees Celsius in Brazil. I'm using two hoodies. <laughs> I'm using two pants. <laughs> yeah, it depends on the region of the country like 24 25 degrees for me is the ideal temperature i can use whatever clothes i want i don't want to like take everything off <laughs> <laughs> so it's okay uh for me 25 is the sweet spot yeah i think having a little bit of this going on will be nice yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that that makes it look awesome. Yeah. Looks way hotter. Oh, we've got to remember when we're done to um, to change the colors and see how it looks in different colors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, awesome. this make it look uh, make the rocket look bigger somehow because. Because I, the way I, I threw the rocket, 
Mm -hmm. It looks like a small toy or something. Yeah. But having smoke like this mm -hmm. somehow make it look big. What if you did some like fire, some little like fire particles? Yeah, yeah, I will do. Off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will do this right now. I will create a color dodge layer. I, know. I will pick some. I will spark some little jadens. This. <laughs> Nice. Nice. So hot. Yeah. I think this is how I will put uh, the Jadens in the screen, you know? Look yes. at the little... <laughs> it's just the, the ones that are so obviously my face. That's so fun. The thing about this is not making them too organized, you know, mm -hmm. it's boring. And, and this actually is hard, way harder than it should be, I think, to randomize things. Mm -hmm. Every time you have to randomize, you default to making making them organized, you know? Yeah. It makes it worse because, like, the human eye picks up on patterns. Yeah, super quick. Yeah. Actually, I will use probably some outer glow effects uh, so I don't have to paint them individually. So I'll have the outer glow effect. Yeah, and the internal part brighter like this. Look how hot you are, Jaden. Man, that's. That's the hottest guy I've ever seen. <laughs> the lava is actually just a million tiny Jadens. It's true. Size. Me and my brethren. Size, capacity. What if you discover that the core of the earth is just millions of small jadens? I'd be so happy. I could, I could finally take over the world. Okay, in this layer, I will have some dark particles, probably. Floating. That looks cool then. Articles. Ten minutes to go. I said that uh, having two hours to the study is nice because it's easier for people to follow along mm -hmm. and then I can do something that is more interesting. If we if we spend only one hour, probably would be like this, you know. Yeah. Like it's ninety percent done, you know. With the first hour and the second hour, it's just making it look more fleshy. Yeah. That's what we like to see. Yeah, and I think. Uh, are people that are following along they, they don't have to rush mm -hmm. because I'm I'm taking my time doing it slow people can follow along and if you are following along 
Um, we'd love to we'd love to see it once it's done. If you're comfortable sharing it, uh, we've got a Let's do it. We've got a study room in in our Discord, so you can always post it in there if you want to share it. Um, yeah, it's it's always cool to see what people are up to. Yeah, yeah, and another thing, if you want to do studies like this together with friends on Discord, we have a chat going like every day. People are there drawing, so it's nice uh, to hang out while you do this. Ask some feedback sometimes. Mm -hmm. If you like the vibe of the stream, probably you will like the vibe of the chat, right? Yeah, hopefully. It's just a little bit more chaotic. Yeah, yeah, it can be. <laughs> I've been told about... to tell you. Uh, I've been told <laughs> to tell you that this rocket looks. Uh, muito da hora. Muito uh, da hora. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Muito da hora. É da hora. It's da hora. Da hora. Like that. No, it's da hora. Not yeah, da hora. I can't, I can't do the, the ra. Yeah, it just did. <laughs> muito da hora. Yes, let's go. I'm it's Portuguese one on one. I'm officially Portuguese now. Yeah, probably if you say muito da hora in Portugal, they will say what? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. With da hora. Because the translation would be very from the hour or something. <laughs> Hora is hour. Oh, okay. But, yeah, yeah but looking in very, Portuguese, very like hour. from Brazil, da hora is like very cool. Oh, nice. So I'll get my Portuguese passport through soon because I'm an official Portuguese citizen now. Yeah. I wish I was a Portuguese citizen also. <laughs> so I can go and travel easier. Mm. Mm. Thinking about the shape of this smoke, probably making it going with the winds in this direction. Then I will have to skew these particles like this. It's so nice working on digital because of this, right? You can just <laughs> move things around. Yeah. When we go back to the, uh, when we get you to do a sort of on canvas traditional mm. study session then then it'll be fun right yeah if it's only black and white things with graph graphite i yeah. can do it <laughs> now nah, we'll, we'll do full color <laughs> <laughs> okay Jaden, whatever you want <laughs> Okay, I will actually stop and just comment a little bit on this. Uh, so, what uh, I think it's nice about this is having different edges, like this uh, smoke and fire uh, particles uh, made for example, this edge more interesting, like the smoke is like covering the edge a little bit, 
So you have something that is very soft and these little jadens. Yeah. And then here we also have some parts that are not defined at all, are more loose, and some parts that are sharper. You know, having this edge variety is nice. And of course, one thing that is very important is the read in black and white, how it looks like this. Uh, I think uh, it's super contrasty because of the subject, but I think it's clear enough that the light source is coming from the middle and radiating upward. So like the, our brightest spot is here. And if you can see down here, it's actually pretty dark, but if it, if we look with in context, this part looks bright, but it's not a lot, you know? So try to think about these things while you're doing this kind of study. For example, if I do this and overpower these parts, you know, I can start losing the focal point, you know? try to think about these things sometimes you don't need a bunch of contrast to make things interesting in terms of material also like my rocks are super simple it's just a little change of, of uh, saturation uh, and like brightness this part is a little darker than this is not a lot you know you don't have to go full force again if i would do like this for example it can look cool but if i do this too much it starts to uh lose the 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 shape you know it's it's too much so try to make the the contrast uh like controlled Actually, we'll try to do a little bit of this just to see and try to play around with <clears throat> soft lights, a little bit of this. Yeah, I like this. Just a little touch. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I will post this in the uh, study room in this card. So if you want to look closer mm, and uh, if you guys followed along, share uh, what you did in this card. And if you have any questions, also, we'll be online on this card the whole day. So ask around if you need something. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Um, well, I guess we can, uh, we can call it there. Thanks. Thanks again, Leonie, as always. Um, it's always a pleasure. Uh, I'm sure everybody, everybody really enjoyed it. They seemed to, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what, what everyone came up with. Um, oh, we're getting a lot of thank yous. You're welcome. Um, thank you guys. Yeah. It was fun. Again, we'll, we'll be doing this in another two weeks. So be sure to, to join again then. Um, we'll hopefully have something new next week. So keep an eye out on, on the Discord for that. And uh, thanks again, everyone. See you later. Uh, See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.